Right, I'm here on uh, in uh, up the hills of Byford, and um, I'm I'm about to go up Mojo, which is um, one of the easier climbs or ascents in the goat and lamb races, and um, for the Perth Trail series. And um, yeah, so I'm just about to head into that one, and um, it's quite an interesting little trail. Um, not particularly difficult, but um, does require a little bit of concentration. It's definitely a single track. I saw a little Joey kangaroo a moment ago. Bounding along next to a more adult kangaroo. There's a dewgite's lair not far from here. Um, probably a chance of death adders as well around here. Um, but, um, you do need to be careful. A lot of ants around here. In fact, there's just so many ants on this particular trail. A very full of ants trail and haven't hit the ant next section ant nests section yet this is, this is the early part of it and this one's got lots of little jumps obviously used by mountain bikers um, there's some interesting ones along the way Bike down there below, Thomas Road. Right, very much a red dirt area, quite rocky. Here's some of the ants. And um, when we're up the first part of it, the biggest, so most of the ascents, the hard part of the ascents is done. Pretty easy one. It's a, Sort of a long shallow climb from here onwards. That's so enough climb to keep the heart rate up, but um, it's not really that difficult. So if you're in good condition, I wouldn't say I am that good at the moment, um, then you can probably step up the pace on this one a bit. Nice little jump there. Try and run it a bit. I might try a little bit of that. See how I go. I've run this one hard. I think I got up in about six or seven minutes or so, but um, I was running a lot lighter and a lot fitter. Um, I'm not going to try to do that today. Not at all. Now there's a few bits along here which are a bit tricky but you have to be careful which way you go. Um, get over this big rock. Because you can get off track on this one a little bit. Be not careful. I watched just went off for 1k marker. Got 6k's on the clock at the moment. out for a bit of a recovery run and to get my vertical gain for this month up to 7,000 meters here's big ants nest another one it's full of ants here when you get through that area quickly you end up with a lot of ants in your sh shoes here's another big ants nest Every now and then I feel them crawling up my ankle. Brush them off. Right. Get flatter here. Big rock jump here. Just imagine the bike coming over the top of that. 
you see. Quite a beautiful spot here. Lots of good views of the city down below. More ants. Interesting to jump that one. A rocky section up here. Like I say, there's another little jump. So, a lot of fun for a sort of a beginner mountain bike to go on this one. It's not so steep that it's really dangerous, but it's got enough interesting things on it to, to work the skills a bit. It's a bit the same as a trail one, really. So, a good one for people learning early on. And you can take your kids up here, no worries. This is a right fork here, I believe. Not the left fork. It's one of the spots we can go off track. And look at that view. Oh, that's nice. All along the edge of the Darling Scarp. Bike it down below. Be cloudy today. Alright. Quicker. Yeah, I think it's the left fork this time. But yeah, you got to be um, heavy wits about you a bit on here if it's not marked because it's um, it be easy to go off on the wrong trail on this one. Now, over to the left here, there's um, I've been over that way on a different trail and I found what I believe to be an eagle's nest. Um, there was a couple of eagles there making um, eagle sounds. So that was quite exciting to come across that. Find a couple of eagles in that area. Lots of old tree, big, big old trees just down there, down that way. Um, plenty of places for them to nest. It's fairly high up. Another jump. 